there and welcome back to Circuit of the Worlds. My name's Alice and today we are back on the floor because we have another Eureka crate. This time we are making a soap dispenser. Ah, very in with the times, very appropriate right now. Um, so I'm not going to ramble too much about this. We're just going to get straight on in and see what's inside and then I will bring you along for the build as I did last time. Let's have a looky look inside and find out Oh, shit. Yeah, that did work. And let's find out how we are going to build our soap dispenser. Oh, I did this. There's nothing really for you to see. Oh, that's really not what I thought it would look like at all. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. That's what it's going to look like. It's pretty fancy, you know. Oh, I've got a proper plastic cup and everything. I'm actually quite impressed with this. Looks kind of. Is it wood? I don't think it's wood, I think it's plastic. We are, oh! And we get soap with it. Four fluid ounces, 118 milliliters of hand soap. Lovely. Okay, I think we should just get going. Um, oh, there's a motor, wow, this looks intense. There's a motor. Guys, is it gonna be like one of those zzz -z -z ones? I think it's gonna be one of the zzz -z -z ones. Oh, I am, I'm super ready for this now. I was a bit like meh when this arrived because I was like, I thought it was just a squidgy soap dispenser, which would have been cool, but this, this feels like it's at a whole nother level. Let's get cracking. This is great. They've all got these little markers on them. Got all these gray markers on these. Um, so I can see where I've got to put my sticky things. Uh, that is it. That that's the base. <laughs> that's the first step complete. Great. Well, that took a while. Quang. Okay. Cool. Nozzle complete. Not a motor, a sensor. Look at that. Oh wait, it's a button. Smart. Do you reckon like that? Yeah. Okay. I'm in it. I dig it. I'm with it. I'm with you. So we have button done. Uh, the, the dispenser and the base. However, that's going to work. Hopefully that will come clear soon. Yes, it's coming out here at the top. See, there's a little panel for it there. Thanks, camera. That went really well. So it hooks around the front like a so, and then it comes out the back. And that good. And that clever. Stop here. Don't pull all the way through. Tied that back. I wasn't supposed to do that. It's supposed to sit like so in the top. It's now not focusing. Well, okay. guys, oh god, you saw it. It was focused and now it isn't, but you saw it. So it's, it's going to pull all the way through. Ah, I see how this is going to work. It's going to go around this little channel. You know what I was saying earlier about being worried that it was going to get tight and it wasn't going to, it was going to kink and stuff. I think I've progressed a little bit further than I should have done. But there's a channel. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, where the pipe runs now on the inside of the grey, there's a channel. So it fits in. That's where I think it's going to go. 
Okay. Okay. There you go, so now that sits there, that's not squished there, all nicely wrapped away, tucked inside there, and it also shouldn't be squished up there. There should be a nice little flow of, uh, for the soap to go. Look at that, isn't that good? I'm pretty impressed with this. We are making a fidget spinner. Terrible fidget spinner, but a fidget spinner nonetheless. What do I do with my fidget spinner? These are rotors, not fidget spinners. And then I guess I've got to test if this works. So let's have a test. Um, how do I test? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I'm good at something. Is this hand sanitizer or like soap soap shit? This is like proper soap. I probably should be doing this here. Uh, I should be taking this into the bathroom. I'll do a proper test run in a minute. In fact, let's go and do a proper test run now. <laughs> because this is silly otherwise. It's just gonna be, I'm gonna have soap in my hands and then not be able to do anything. So let's take it and myself. Let's take it and myself into the bathroom. Oh, so there it is. There it is complete in uh, all its glory. I'm gonna try and uh, use it. Is it even turned on? So we're just going to do this one headed. So here we go. Let's try and get it in all its glory. So I should just do this. Give it a minute. Ah! <laughs> so that's so cool. Uh, okay, I'll be back in a minute. I mean, <laughs> this product is made of plastic, completely plastic, whereas the other have been wood. I don't think that'll be something that continues. Like I was saying, I think the fact of what it is means it needs to be plastic to be more durable. Uh, but I'm really impressed with it. I thought it was gonna be like uh, automated. So I thought it was gonna be a sensor, not a button, but considering it's a soap dispenser, like for hand soap to wash your hands with rather than like a hand sanitizer, though you could put hand sanitizing gel in there quite easily. Um, so it's quite a versatile product, but I'm really impressed with this one. And like I said at the start, I think it really does kind of fit, uh, it's a very fitting product to receive in the box at the moment. But I really enjoyed building this one, there were a lot of elements to it that were pretty cool. And when I received the box, as I said at the start again, it's not, it didn't. It, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna look like when we when we started building it. So super impressed with this one. I really like this one. Um, and it just, I'm, I'm happy to continue getting the boxes if we get products like this. Like we've had a couple of products like the print press and stuff, which are cool and they're fun. But for me, there's just absolutely no use for them. Where I like this one, the lantern we had last time as well. I actually have that uh, in my room now. It's a source of light in the room like a torch in case the power goes out or anything. It's a really good lantern slash flashlight. So that's a really good product. This is really practical. Um, so the practical products to me are better. I much prefer them. Don't get me wrong, the pinball machine is very fun to have and the 
ping pong practice robot thingy that we had as well. I mean, you guys didn't see me build those, but I showed them in the beginning of the last video of this series. Um, they're really good, they're really fun to have, but I much prefer the practical products when they come in these boxes. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about the soap dispenser. Let me know if you think that they should do more practical products or if you like the fun, whimsical ones uh, that are a bit more fun to play with after you've built them as well as whilst you're building them. Also, if you get this box, do let me know down in the coffee pot below. If you have any questions about the boxes or the crates or some of the other crates you can get, I'm gonna leave the email to the guys at Eureka Crate and Kiwi Code down in the description box. But also please feel free to leave comments on this video and I will do my best to answer them. And if not, I will obviously direct you to the guys. I'll also link to all the good stuff about how you can get this box and their other boxes into the description box as well. So you can go and have a good explore of everything that's going on. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some good old fashioned love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss the next time I upload a video. Stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video! Who was phoning me? Someone was phoning me. Dad.